Hello, my fellow Room 2 players! The Rip here with Russian Prince. Hello! Hello to you, sir! Hello, hello! Well, to viewers, more than. Sirs! <laughs> Sirs! <laughs> Sirs. <laughs> and uh, girls, and boys, and whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, however, you call yourself. Anyway, we are in a second game of a final of Tournoi 1v1, by, which is hosted by yeah. Razas. Tournoi, I think. Tournoi. It's pronounced, I don't know. Hmm. Well, French, Perhaps. definitely not my strong point. And we will see Murat meet uh, Luchiban. In the first game, Luchiban won using Parse against Seleucids. Uh, you can take a look at those, that game if you didn't see it yet uh, in this same playlist. But for second game, first pick was Luchiban. He picked Essence and was counterpicked... Uh, by Murat using uh, Macedon. Now the biggest question we have with Prussian Prince, I guess, we just discussed it on a stream, is the fact that Murat took four citizen cavalry. Now it's nifty mm. cheap unit, but can you make use of four of them? Will they really make up for pricing yeah. kills? That's questionable. Well, you can see that he has like some sort of plan. Like he used median cap the same way last game. You see how he deploys his cavalry, like his flanks. He puts the yeah. cheaper ones in front and the more expensive in the back. So he pretty much yeah. wants to tie up enemy shock cavalry with his cheaper ones. And he has two so. Aspis uh, companion cavalry coming from behind. Then for his main line, he has, I guess... What, six, uh, five, six hopliters, uh, two mercenary Cretan archers, and uh, two archers. His general is yeah. companion cavalry. So he makes a bet on melee cavalry rather than shock cavalry, as we can see in a second game as well. So what did Luchiban bring? For Luchiban, we have his general in a thorax hoplite, actually. Interesting. Behind those, we have Cretan archers and then our light hoplite. For his left flank, we have Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Uh, interesting. Can you not put your general in it? I guess not. Then you have uh, Hoplites and Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Two Light Peltists with also with uh, two Cav units supporting one HPUs and one Citizen Cav. On his right, he's got a HPUs and one Citizen Cav as well. Then we have two Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, one Thorax Hoplite and two light peltas so basically pretty much same flanks and the center is just a little bit weaker yeah symmetrical flanks. armies i should say both yeah. armies yeah and from the very beginning they just go for it they just engage mm, let's yeah, see hoplites meeting each other in the middle thorax uh, hoplites will crush them though and the yeah. veteran, uh, veteran hoplites I wonder if in such an engagement it's uh, meaningful to use Hoplit uh, Phalanx just before engagement. Yeah. Yes, you're not well, getting charge bonus, but maybe you will L hold Luchiban for longer. is doing it on his left. And I think Luchiban's probably yeah. gonna... Like, he's got the better infantry, so... Mirad has to do something with his cavalry to win this. Yeah, well, he tries to sneak his companion cavalry through the middle, there is gap. But it will actually get into the general. It tries to go around. We can see the move order for it. So it tries to... Look, it sneaks. It sneaks just yeah. behind and goes for mercenary crit matches. Beautiful maneuver. Uh, that's for sure. Um, uh, it really looked like gap is closing. But now it just goes for archers. And look, the one in hoplite phalanx is winning against the one that's not in hoplite phalanx. On the left, you see that unit of Luchiban. Yes, and winning heavily, but again, we don't know how much uh, skirmishes did, because here we see Light yeah. Peltast uh, shooting at uh, right flank of that unit. Now, Hippius Lancers charging from behind. These Hopletters should start wavering fairly soon, if I understand it correctly. Yeah. It looks yeah, good Red for Murat, I think. Uh, no, Luchiban. Luchiban is Athens, right? Yeah, yeah because now he's got this. he goes for... Skirmishes now with his Hippius lances. And in infantry engagement, he has just strong uh, infantry. And we can see yeah. that additional citizen cavalry do not do anything particularly useful for Murat for now. 
So yeah, he yeah. pews Lance's train. To, well, actually, so he got stuck in these Cretan arches. But yeah, in hopefully battle, total win for Luchiban. Uh, like Asin Hoplit is clearly stronger. He's losing cavalry fight to Aspis companion. Actually, let's see if these two Aspis companion will do any difference. It is isn't cav back charging, but didn't kill a single man. <laughs> well, their charge bonus is twenty eight. Yeah. Which is like twice uh, less than any shock cavalry. Now we can see that Aspis cavalry, instead of going for melee uh, with infantry, tries to catch up with these uh, Hippius lances and finish them and to maybe save these archers. Yeah. But I, I think there is just too much infantry left for us. Yeah. The infantry was way better for Luchiban. And Hopefully even the it's one, no chance. <laughs> yeah, even the one that wasn't bad actually won. Like the simple Hoplitus yeah. uh, won, uh, I guess, by support of these light pelters. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to cast Storm 2 just because there is not enough dynamic after Shogun 2. It's just happening a bit slow, I guess. Yeah. Way slower. Well, Cav is slower. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Yeah. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's still going for it. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> which in Shogun 2 will take you two seconds. Uh, in Rome 2 can go for like 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, it's... It takes a while to catch up to... To infantry with Cav, actually. Especially if like you've got... Cab that's tired, then it yep. takes a real long amount of time. Well, in these two games, uh, it looks like Luchiban just have much more solid builds. Yeah, that's what I think too. In both games, both with uh, Parse and with Essence, he just and well, I would uh, let me rephrase myself. It seems that Murat puts himself in disadvantageous position just because he brings. He has this idea of cheap uh, melee cavalry in a mix. And he brings maybe a bit too much of it. Sure, one citizen cavalry of his got 142 kills. Probably on enemy skirmishes. But did it pay for four of them? No. Definitely not. His, his general did quite well and he completely mm. lost Hoplitus' battle. He probably I... shouldn't have even taken it. I don't think that... Well... Especially against Athens, I don't think it makes much sense to go for Citizen Cab. Yeah. Right, well, what's it gonna do against the considering, uh, considering the fact that Athens have decent skirmishes, you may take one or two just in case to hunt them down. But yeah, more may be too much. Mm, yes, because they're not gonna do anything against the Hoplites. Yeah. They can't. Well, that's our opinion. Anyway, if you have different one, you can leave it in comments. Also check useful links in the description and see you guys in a game 3. Yep, see you in game 3.